As a chartered accountant, a lot of business owners ask me how much profit they should be making in their business. And although this may seem controversial, the honest answer to this is that I think it's not worth being in business if you are going to earn less than £150,000 of profit per year. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. So firstly, let's have a quick recap and have a look at what profit is. Now, profit is simply all of your revenue or your income, your sales turnover, however you refer to it in your business. So everything that comes into your business, less all of your costs and expenses that go out of your business. So revenue less costs equals profit. Now, some other phrases that you may have heard, um, which also refer to profit is EBIT. That means earnings before interest and tax. And also you may have heard the phrase PAT or profit after tax or PBT, profit before tax. All of these things mean roughly a similar thing. They're just different ways of measuring profits for different businesses. So moving forward in this video, we're going to refer to it as profit and we mean revenue less expenses. We're going to start with 150k profit and I'm going to show you exactly what you should be doing with that 150k in your business and we will work all the way down to exactly how much profit you will end up with in your pocket at the end. Okay so the first thing that you have to do once you've made profit in your business is pay taxes. There's no way to avoid tax in the UK despite what many people ask me repeatedly is how I can pay less tax. There's no way really to avoid it. As long as your accountant is claiming all of the expenses that they should be claiming then you have to pay your tax bill. So at the moment the corporation tax rate in the UK is 19% and that applies for profits up to 250,000 and then there's a tapered rate of 26% and then it goes to 25%. But for this illustration your profit if it was 150k you would be paying corporation tax at 19% so we're going to use that. So we've got 150k 19% of that has gone immediately over to HMRC in taxes. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to set some money aside to reinvest back into the business because most people have a goal of growing a business if you don't have a goal of growing a business then you pretty much just have a job we're talking about business owners that have an intention of growing a successful business so you need to be allocating some money aside to reinvest in your business so this could be anything from taking on new employees to increasing your marketing spend updating your website getting a new system whatever it is now I recommend that every business is putting a minimum of 20% of their annual profits aside for this but really me personally in some of my businesses I put as high as 50 or 60% every year aside for planned investments but as a minimum we'll assume that you do 20% of your profits to one side for reinvestment. So the next thing that you need to put money aside for is financing your business. So pretty much all businesses have some sort of finance or loan repayment to make and if you think I don't have a business loan well actually do did you as the owner put money into the business at the start and have what's called a director's loan because that would also count as a loan repayment here as well and as well as that as your business generally gets bigger everything gets bigger so your cash flow requirements get bigger too and therefore you need to be allocating some of your profits to cash flow in your business so generally again around 20% of your profits should be kept to one side to support your business in the coming year with cash flow so if you are finding this video helpful then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get a reminder when I'm releasing similar content every Friday and don't forget to hit that like button that will really help just to share this valuable free content to other UK business owners too. Okay so a quick recap on where we are we started with 150k profit 19% of that has gone on corporation tax 20% of that has been set aside for reinvestment in the business next year and a further 20% has been set aside to support cash flow and loan repayments. So already that 150k has depleted to just £61,000. We've paid our taxes, we've reinvested and we've made sure that we've got adequate cash flow. The balance 61k is all yours and you may be sitting there thinking 61k, I'm quite happy with that, that is a good salary but I want to put a perspective on that and really make you consider whether £61,000 is a good salary considering the risks and sacrifices sacrifices that pretty much every business owner makes. Firstly, again, you have to pay tax. Unfortunately, there is no way that you can avoid paying your taxes in the UK. Assuming that you are a sole limited company director, then you will be paying probably dividend tax as that's normally the most tax efficient way to structure your business. So assuming you are paying dividend tax after you paid your taxes, you will be left with about £55,000 in your pocket. So compare 
compare that to the average UK salary of £35,000 and that may seem like a good salary. But 39% of small business owners work more than 60 hours per week in their business. So therefore, if you take that 35K and multiply that one and a half times, because that's actually what you've got, you're working one and a half times the average 40 hour working week, then that 35K salary should actually be 52,000 pounds. So if you went and took a job, you would earn 52,000 pounds if you took one and a half jobs. If you work in your business, one and a half jobs, no holidays, no sick pay, no time off, no way to shut down, then you're earning just 55,000 pounds. So that is why, in my opinion, nobody should ever start a small business with the intention of earning less than 150,000 pounds of profit per year. So do let me know what you think in the comments below. I have a feeling this might be quite a controversial video. Let me know in the comments, are you earning more than 150K profit per year? How do you spend the profit in your business and what do you do with it? Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful and subscribe to my channel too for more content just like this from a chartered accountant and finance director.